Hey everyone, this is Alan from BMW Durham, back again with another video. We have another new arrival. It's a 2025 BMW M3 competition in Dravic Grey Metallic with the Kilami Orange interior. All right, so this is the 2025 BMW M3 competition, LCI in Dravic Grey Metallic. That was the uh, headlight welcoming animation. I just hit unlock to get that going. So. The internet's calling these the snake eyes. Kind of looks snaky. And I'm just gonna go ahead and turn on the pathway lighting so we can get uh, the low beam system on. So full low beam system. You've got uh, some of these lights coming through on the side. You've got the chevrons, you've got the stacked LEDs and the actual low beam itself. I like these headlights. I think the, um, I think the LCI headlights look a bit more aggressive than the pre-LCI. I think the pre-LCI headlights look a bit more sophisticated or classic M design language, but uh, I, I would accept either. But I'm not opposed to these new LCI lights whatsoever. And there's the tail lights on. I'm gonna do a lap all the way around and then we can go ahead and take a closer look at all the details on this awesome spec M3 competition. So one of my favorite BMW colors, Dravic Gray Metallic. I've got it inside right now, so we're really showing off the gray on this car. But in certain parts of the car where you can see the light reflecting, there's definitely amber flake in there, which is way more apparent in the sunlight, but you can kind of see it in this area right here. This paint is awesome. It's such a nice looking gray, but that amber flake really just makes it pop. Uh, we have the exact same hood as the pre-LCI with these two sculpted arches leading down into the rondelle here. And just in this little area, you can see a bit of that amber. It's not just the reflection of the, the light up, up the top. We've got the vertical kidneys with the horizontal slats, blacked out M3 competition badging on the driver's side. And this one does have the M carbon package, so we've got the carbon fiber air inlets at the bottom here which look amazing and uh, again headlight system on whoosh, whoosh. awesome welcoming light animation and we've got functional air ducts on each side overall front end looks awesome and the new headlight design so these are the shadow line headlights so we've got everything blacked out inside there with the blue accents also looks really good and when we come around to the side, you'll see that we have the 19 inch front and 20 inch rear double spoke 826 M wheel in jet black burnish. So the insides are jet black. The face itself is burnished and we have the red M compound brake here as well. And in the Canadian market, we also have the amber reflector on each side. We've got the M3 competition air breather over here as well, which is awesome. And we've got the black side skirt we have M carbon fiber wing mirrors. That looks awesome. Side profile of the vehicle, extremely aggressive. I love the M3 silhouette. We have carbon fiber roof up here as well. And we have the new, new style antenna. Black window surrounds here. And we've got the Hofmeister kink. We've got uh, the body line going just above the door handles. And it kind of fades here and another line comes out here into the tail, uh, tail lights. Back rear quarter, super fat, looks crazy. We have a carbon fiber spoiler on the trunk lid here. That looks amazing. And when we come all the way to the back here, We've got the L-shaped tail lights, X-Drive badging on the driver's side, new 2025 LCI M3 badge with the um, silver lining around it with the black badge. That looks awesome. And we've got the vertical reflectors on each side. And we've got the quad exhaust tips in black chrome with the carbon fiber diffuser. That looks also amazing. Backup camera here with the Rondell. And let's go ahead and uh, hit the tailgate release there. 
So inside <coughs> we have some um, carpeted mats. The release levers are on either side to fold down the seats in a 60-40 split. Grocery bag hanger on this side. This is a little gift we got for the client. And there's a little storage area there. Canadian cars uh, do come with this eSIM thing, but it's useless in Canada because we don't have any uh, partner to, to utilize that with. So that's what that is if you find that in your Canadian BMW. And this side we have your netted area with the tire inflator kit, uh, tire sealant, and wheel lock key and tow hook are here. This little box has an additional wheel lock key and the replace bolts in case you'd like to revert to a non-wheel lock system. And there's some Velcro straps in here to hold that down. But you can also lift this up to put the wheel lock key and tow hook down here, but it's better all in the kit if you ask me. If you didn't have the kit, then I would put it down there. So let me just put that panel back and put all this stuff back there. So no kick feature on M3, M4, but there's a button here to close, another one to close and lock. So we'll press the close button so we can get that to close on its own. And if I open this up, this is attached to the central locking system. We're looking for 93 octane BMW M recommend shell V power. It's counterclockwise one click. There's a little spot to put this and when you're done, it's just clockwise one click to shut. All four door handles feature touch comfort access, so inside to unlock the lines here to lock the car. So once I open up the door, you'll see that we have nice door panel here with the stitching going across. Harman Kardon sound system, nice deep door pockets, galvanic controls. And back here, we've got the clammy orange merino leather seats with the M seat belts here. That leather smells amazing. The center headrest can be flipped up or down. And there's a pass through through the center, just like this, right? And up top, we've got the black headliner. There's a handle on each side here as well with a coat hanger. Reading lights up top in the center, and these seats back here just look awesome. Now, on the back of each front seat, we've got this beautiful carbon fiber, and on the back of the center console, we have some vents, rear climate controls, two USB Type-C charging ports. There are also some more vents underneath the front seats for the rear passenger's feet, but overall, the back seating area here is incredible. Let's close this door, and let's open up the driver door next. So from here, once I open that door, you'll see, again, we've got nice stitching going across the dash, nice soft touch materials, galvanic controls, we've got the ambient light strip here, Harman Kardon sound system, nice big deep door pockets, aluminum M3 door sill. And here we have full power seat with side bolster on these beautiful M carbon buckets with the illuminating M3 badge on the headrest, carbon fiber on the crotch, and this is removable for space for the helmet, which is pretty awesome. And we have the new style vents here. So this is closed, open, and you just point it where you'd like the air to direct. You have your illuminated glove box. We have a carbon fiber trim on the dash, more stitching across the dash up here. And we have the new M specific iDrive 8.5 on the curved display. We've got the new style vents down here with the cascading light. And just to give you an example, let's choose a nice color so we can really see this. Put the brightness to max. And I think the best color to show here is the flamingo color. So that's what it looks like with the ambient light set to flamingo. Now down here, if I press this, you'll see that we do have the wireless charger, cup holders, USB type A and uh, 12 volt plug. We've got the M gear selector, selector with the uh, uh, M tricolor stitching on there, park button on there, as well as the shift uh, harshness increase or decrease. We have the red push start button, carbon fiber all along here, orange center console with the USB type C charging port in there. It's also illuminated and there's some gaps on either side for a cable to be able to run through without getting pinched. So now, let's go ahead and open the door on the driver's side next. All right, so if we open the door from the driver's side, once we open up the door, again, we've got the nice panel inside, galvanic controls, uh, there's all your window controls, side mirror controls, there is your memory buttons, 
We have the tailgate release down here. So if you press this, it will pop the tailgate. And if the key is inside the car like this, you can pull and hold this and it will close the tailgate. So, so I just wanted to highlight that the driver can close the tailgate without having to exit the vehicle with that method. And on this side, we also have the M3 door sill in aluminum, full power seat once again with side bolster. And these are also heated, which is amazing for a bucket seat. And when we look over here, we've got your exterior lighting controls. There's a storage compartment down here. I like this is all black because this uh, would stay black if this was all orange. We've got the new vent control here as well. And there's the new 2025 LCI flat bottom steering wheel with carbon fiber on it, with the carbon fiber paddles, with the 12 o'clock red marker. All of that is pretty awesome. We've got the head-up display here as well. And over here, just quickly wanted to take you through. So iDrive 8.5 M specific, all of the options are down here, but we still have the same uh, M widgets as we did before in iDrive 8. And just wanted to quickly take a look at this. So yes, we've got 3D view, 360 camera, automatic parking, Backup assistant will remember how you went forward 50 meters and come back the same way. So all of this is pretty awesome. We have the universal garage door opener on your frameless rear view mirror. And up top we have your SOS button for roadside assistance. The visor it comes out and it can also extend and the mirror opens the light. So now that we've looked at all this good stuff, why don't we go ahead and take a look at what is underneath the hood. So down here is your hood release. One, two. So when we arrive to the front, we don't have to find anything underneath here. We just have to lift it up. And there it is, the beautiful S58 three liter inline six twin turbo. And the LCI gets a power bump. So we now have 523 horsepower over the 503 that used to be on the comp and we still have the same 479 foot-pounds of torque, which is more than enough. We've got the triangular strut brace running right through the engine cover. Positive battery terminal is here. Negative battery terminal is here. Washer fluid is here, and please don't put anything in here other than regular washer fluid. So things that have silicone or Teflon or any type of additive is too viscous to run through our system. So what do you think of the LCI updates with the 20 horsepower increase. Okay, so before we conclude the video, I'm gonna do one more lap all the way around the car. And uh, you know what? This car looks awesome. I really love the spec. Dravic Gray looks incredible. The clammy orange with the M carbon bucket seats. True baller status. And when we come to the back here, I just wanted to test out a remote engine start, cold start. So one, two, three on the lock button. One, two, three again. I think that sounded pretty good. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Three, two, one. All right, everyone, so that was my tour of this beautiful 2025 BMW M3 Competition LCI in Dravic Gray Metallic with the clammy orange interior. Uh, what do you think of this spec? What do you think of the LCI updates? Um, I, I really love this spec, and it, with the LCI updates, I would drive this car all day long. Huge congratulations to Mr. Kevin Kyung. This car is amazing. Uh, welcome to the next level of your life. Um, if you like the car, if you like the video, if you like me, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I'll put the pricing information in the description below. Uh, please follow me on Instagram. It's at Durham. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.